like honey, and the first day of spring, and my first kiss, all rolled into one. Phoenix got into the Ambrosia too? Prometheus! You worried, Zeus, about losing this bet? Please, he can't use it anyway. Yet. Phoenix felt Ligiron's blade with every step. Its weight a reminder of the heavy responsibility. You gave him your blade? Oh, Achilles. I, I meant to ask, why exactly would you expect to receive a sword from Achilles? Oh, uh, as an offering, just a routine offering from someone who gazed into your eyes and told you you were special. That's all. I left a rose. On his breastplate. Got something in my eye. Keep going. Sing of Hermes, the luck bringing messenger of the immortals. He consorts with all mortals and immortals. Little he profits, but through the dark night, he continually tricks. That's nice. Who wrote that? My favorite poet, who just happens to not have been born yet. Shed by Typhon's minions, metal of the gods, threw itself to Phoenix, as if wanting to be forged into something greater. Uh. 
There's no way across. Done this to you. Prometheus, stop with the mortal pity party and get to the action part. Fine. Now that's more like it. Unlike the mortal flesh, which had been frozen into marble, the pomegranate sprung forth defiantly, bursting with life. A lot of poetry for something that just got a stick in their mouth. Isn't that what the best poetry is about? I'll have to swim to the other shore. Hello? Can you hear me in there? I'm coming! I found your axe! Phoenix approached the axe, feeling it call to him. Looks like the axe of Atalanta. That must be a copy. Although... But before Phoenix could claim it, the axe was pulled into the pit by a terrible force. My door. No one. You think that old trick will work on me? Come into my parlor, said the Cyclops to the sailor.
Well, that's the end of Phoenix. Perfectly passable storytelling. I won't lie, there were moments that dragged, but you really got me with that ending. Now, let's settle up. Time for you to help me against Typhon. It's not over yet. Not by a long shot. What was this strange place? It's Tartarus. Just exactly where had Phoenix landed? Tartarus! The nasty abyss where I imprisoned Typhon. He must have opened rifts into the vaults of the underworld when he escaped. You know it, I know it. Say it! Phoenix was in ta Sure. I hate you! But aren't you intrigued? No! Keep going. this? Wings? Phoenix ran his hands over them, noticing that several pieces were missing, as if someone had ripped them apart. They seem to be man-made. I wonder how they work, if they even work. Actually work, sort of. The axe, the axe of Atalanta, deadliest of hunters, swiftest of heroes, fallen at the hands of Typhon. Didn't I change her into a lion? You turned a lot of people into a lot of things. I need to stop drinking.
standing? I sense something more in you. A bolt of my lightning! Scattered, hidden by Typhon. It's over! Phoenix is Helios Ash! No one can handle those bolts but me! Oh, really? A replica of Zeus's lightning bolt? No way! Power surged through Phoenix. It was too much for him to bear. Uh, what's happening to me? Bye-bye, mortal. And then, just like that, it stopped. No! The wings grounded the lightning. They were designed to withstand storms. That shouldn't be possible. And yet, this is just the beginning. <clears throat> Having plunged into the abyss of Tartarus, and living to tell the tale, Phoenix emerged victorious. For now? That stranger I was chasing, where did he go? With the wings, he would be able to flit across the ancient bridge and find out. I wouldn't just strap on discarded junk. Who knows where those have been? Many a night, Phoenix had told tales of a genius. An inventor named Daedalus, and his extraordinary wings. Perhaps someone copied their design, Phoenix mused. So junk! Ooh, maybe it's Kerr. I'm coming to help! Hold on! If only Legiron was here. He's the famous hero, not me. What am I going to do? Put the fiends of Tartaros to sleep with storytelling? 